Hi everyone, I'm Paula from Boss Lady Coaching. Today's topic is all about who do you admire and why? Now, you might think, well, Paula, how has this got to do with anything virtual assistant? How can you help me build my virtual assistant business and scale it by just knowing who I admire and why? Well, last week I went to a growth planning day with my business coach and this was one of the questions that came up on who we admire most and why. The reason being is because when we're looking at who we admire, what we admire in them is probably what we admire in other people. For example, I took this actual exercise to my team on the weekend. We had a meeting on the weekend and I asked them who they admired and why. And as I was writing it down, I started to see a pattern there about why they admired these people. And they admired these people because these particular people, and they could have been anybody, they could be family members, friends, celebrities, anything like that. But you need to know why you admire them. And the consistency that came up for us were things like the people were motivated, they were passionate about what they did, and they were resilient. So they were the three top things that came up for, across everybody in my team. And there were nine of us across that table. Oh, sorry, there were seven of us across that table. And for seven of us, that was really consistent that came up. Motivated, passionate, and resilient. So now I know that because they value those three traits in people, that I can use that to then go, well, these are the traits that we need in potential clients. And these are definitely the traits that we need for new team members. This is what my team value as something that people need to have because that's who they admire the most. So bringing on a team member who has those qualities or the, those values will then see that that team member fits into my team really well and is respected by the team really well and can actually then help to move the business forward. So you are starting up a VA business. Have a think about who you admire most and why you admire them the most. And then when you're looking for clients, see if you can see that value in them. When you're looking at people to connect with in business to build relationships for, see that value in them as well. And then when you're ready to bring on a subcontractor or an employee, find that value in them as well. This is a really great task to put on your uh, maybe every three months to think about who you most admire and why and jotting down those top three values. This will keep you engaged with your values and you know who to look for when you're moving forward in anything, even if it's just a bestie um, that doesn't have anything to do with business or a um, fellow um, parent or anything, anyone you're trying to connect with. Who, what are your values that you're looking for that kind of align with yours? Because that will make that relationship a lot easier going forward. If you wanted to talk any further about setting up a VA business and your values, then click on the link below, book in a time with us, and we can help you launch your business to success. Bye for now.